Hello ladies and gentlemen, Multi here, and I am back with Ship Simulator Extremes. Today we have a cruise ship in front of us, meaning we are going to be doing the scenario Taurus Tales. Um, super excited about it, let's see how many missions there are for it, uh, 13, it's gonna be so cool. Hopefully they all work, some of them might not due to the fact that um, there's a teleportation issue when it tries to load up a new map, sometimes the game crashes and it's impossible to go from like for example Rotterdam to the Antarctic. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to work around those problems and we're still gonna have a lot of fun driving these ships. So, the journey begins. You are the captain of the Katagarina Kata Delight, a luxury yacht that is to be rented out for private cruises. You've just returned from a cruise and dropped off the last passengers in Rotterdam Harbor. All right, sounds good. Let's go into it. And it's gonna take quite a bit of time to load this one up because this is going to be a humongous ship. These cruise ships are ginormous, and it's going to be so cool to drive one. I cannot wait. I've actually messed around with one in free roam a little bit. Um, it was kind of difficult to control, and so hopefully we're in a big wide open space, because if we're not, I'm probably going to sink that sucker real fast. <laughs> or, Yeah, it wouldn't even, it's so big, it would only like, in a river, it would only like sink and hit the bottom, and it would still be half out of the water probably. Come on, there we Wow. All right. So, uh, not as big as I thought it would be. I guess you could sort of cruise around in this thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was expecting a cruise ship. Sail to the Orient Star. You just received a call that the captain of the large cruise ship, the Orient Star, has fallen ill, and you have to take over from. Oh, to do this, you have to first sail to the Orient Star. All righty, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, so first thing we got to do is to um, unmoor. So, yep, there and then uh, there. Okay, so we're out of that thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this sucker out of this way. And we are going to go. Woohoo! Oh, this thing goes fast. Okay, sweet. Now, I cannot really see. So, hopefully that's not too much of a problem. There we go. Now, we are going to sail to the Orient Star. So that's a gigantic cruise ship, and um, I guess we just sort of got to figure out where it is. Now I'm sure there's is like a no wake zone or something like that, but I'm just gonna ignore that possibility. Here we go. Um, let's look at our map where this giant cruise ship might be. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we're just gonna come out here and then turn and go straight down towards the Orient Star which is the cruise ship. Okay, whoops, uh, do you wanna exit? Nope, all right, sweet. I'm gonna put that back down. We're gonna turn this thing. Zoom in a little bit. Whoa, 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 don't overturn it. Don't overturn it, ah! Okay, nope, keep turning this way, actually. Bad, 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 nope, keep turning this way. Keep turning this way, keep turning this way. Ooh, okay, all right. You gotta learn to not overturn. Oh, this is called oversteer. Whoopsie daisies. Okay. All right. Now we're going to bring it back to normal ahead of time. I keep forgetting ship simulator and how that works. It's going to take some time for me to get used to that again. All right. I can walk around the ship now in this mode. Do -do -do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it turning? Why is it turning? Ship. Ship. Boat. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to crash this thing already. All right, where are my controls? There, okay. So I don't know what the deal is with this little camera, just a glitch that happens with the game. There's quite a few of them, glitches I mean, but uh, there we go. Okay, now just go straight. There. Now any moment now we should be seeing that giant cruise ship. Um, but let's cheat a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. We're gonna set a waypoint for right here, and we're gonna use autopilot. There. And hopefully our boat's gonna go there. Speed up time. Go! Too close to an objective area, okay, so we saved ourselves about half a second of time. <laughs> Alright. This thing's cool though. So since it's relatively on the right direction, I'm just going to walk around it for a second. You can come down here and see the water. 
Whoa. Um, coming up pretty fast, but I'm going to go down real quick. Take a look inside. Nice little table there and some couches, like a living space. Bathroom. Sink. Here we have the master bedroom. Very nice. And there should be another bedroom. Oh, yep, there's a little another little bedroom over here. Very nice. Now I'm going to come up here and make sure we're not going to crash into anything. Okay, let's turn this a little bit that way. And a little bit back. There we go. Straight. Go straight. Okay, we're going through our waypoint. And, um... Where is this ship? I'm going to bring this down. Oh, that's just one of the engines. Let's bring the other engine down, too. Yep. Okay, there we go. And then let's turn this thing back to where it's supposed to go. Or actually, like there. Okay. Does anybody see the ship? Does anybody see the cruise ship? The massive cruise ship? Oh, dang. It's all the way down there now. So I guess it was just sort of... Oh, there it is. Big ship. Okay. Alright, I see how it is. We're going to get rid of this waypoint then. We're going to make one for here. Here, 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 and here. Nah, here. That's good. Okay. And then we're going to enable autopilot, and it better do it. Let's see. Let's see if we don't sink the ship by trying this. All right. Let us enable autopilot. And this should... Yep, our boat is turning around. Perfect. Nice. Now, full speed. Boom. Now, if it misses a waypoint, it's going to turn around and try and get it, and that's a disaster. So, don't you dare say you're going to collide with that ship. Good turn, good turn, and good turn. Okay, sweet. Nope, now we got a problem. Okay, good. Sometimes when you're in other ships, they'll be going full speed and, like, heading straight for a wall, and there's no way to stop it. There is our cruise ship in all of its glory. Look at that thing. Oh, yes. All right, let's go over there. Um, this and this. And I gotta be really careful with this thing because it turns way faster than I'm used to for this game. We gotta zoom in on this. Guess we gotta get really close to the to the cruise ship for it to recognize that we've actually like arrived. Oh, there it is. Whoa! Look at that thing. We're gonna drive that. Oh, what's our boat doing over there? Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, very nice. Ah, okay. Well, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta stop the, stop the, stop. There. This should just stop us. That's gonna make us go backwards. That's just gonna stop us. Okay. Now that you've arrived at the Orient Star, moor in the small harbor in front of the Orient Star so you can board your new vessel. Okay, so it wants us to go in there. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna actually go to the external view here for this. Um, and I'm gonna bring up my controls and again this little camera thing rah, I don't know where it came from But uh, it's there and we're gonna just deal with it <laughs> All right, let's do it Whoa, what, what happened? Nope come back Okay, we're gonna get back in the camera view. There we go. Okay see Now, we're not going to go in too fast, because that never goes well. Like, ever. But too slow is kind of boring, too, don't you think? Now, if I were responsible, I'd maintain the speed, but... I'm not super responsible. I don't know why it's doing that! Gosh darn this game! Okay. Here we go. Moving in, we are going seven knots. That's a pretty healthy speed. Looks like that's a no wake speed too. I honestly don't know why that keeps happening. Doo -doo -doo. Gotta get around this thing. I cannot wait to drive that cruise ship. Oh bad, 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 bad. bad. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. I don't want to run into that thing. Turn, turn, boat, turn. Sometimes these boats turn way faster than you want. Sometimes they turn way slower than you want. And you never know which one they're going to do. Maybe that just takes time. To figure out. I don't know. 
I do know is that I'm coming in kind of hot, and I gotta just drift in, do 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 do, in this way. Stop doing that. I'm gonna hit that. Nope. Nope. Concentration is literally so real right now. Okay, come on, come on, just turn, turn, turn. Yes, okay, now how do I, I'm gonna more, nope, this way. No, we're gonna hit. Oh, of course, we're just gonna glitch right through it, okay. That works too. Now, I don't know if it's gonna make me more or not. Looks like it is. <sighs> Flagger muffin on the world. Why is this so complicated? Okay. I actually just took a picture. Okay. Now we're gonna hit the more button. There. More. Um, that was- is that the anchor? Oh, that is the anchor. Where's more? Here's- this is more. Yeah. Okay, we've moored one, and I can't see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And more this one to that one. There we go, we've done it. Our little Catalina Delight is kind of moored. Okay. Alright, disconnect the Orient Star from the dock so you can start your journey. Oh boy. Now we're not going to have time to explore this ship. Maybe there will be time in future episodes, but right now we're just going to try and get this thing going. So we've got to disconnect it, that means we've got to go to the moors. Um, oh boy, okay. So get rid of that one. And we've got to like get this thing going immediately because it might drift into the side and we do not want that. All right, come on, there's one more. Okay, sweet. Okay, you are free to leave the dock. Approach Rotterdam in the North Sea. Sail towards the North Sea when another, where another boat will meet to pick you up, pick up the ill captain of the Orient Star. Okay, so we're gonna move this is actually, we're gonna move the uh, RPometer is like what I like, what I used to like to call it, but what it actually is is the, um, the bow thrusters and so what's this what this is gonna do is that's actually gonna push the front of the ship away now what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna turn this handle okay this way this handle come on come on come on come on this way and push them forward a little bit that's gonna push the back of the ship away too so that they d it doesn't like hit right because we don't want this thing to hit it still actually might do it but I think we're working against that right now. Okay, this is fine. So we can put that back to like zero. We don't need the bow thrusters anymore. Um, That back there is looking a little sketchy. I'm going to move this thing back to the forward position. Back to the forward position. And I'm going to increase this to uh, 66 RPM. There we go. Oh, we've done it. Last time, okay, so I did, I have tried this uh, before, and it was a little bit of a disaster. Um, it did result in this ship sinking. It wasn't a pretty sight, I can assure you. But, it does appear that it is moving away from the dock, and actually, like, moving forward at 1.3 knots. So, that's good. Where does it want us to sail to? Okay, we've got a bit of a trip. Let's take a look in here. Uh-huh, all right, but <laughs> the ship is so big though. It doesn't really look like it's that big of a trip All right Now the question is see I'm quite an impatient per person I typically like to uh, all right. We're gonna increase this up to 100 rpm There we go It's at a hundred. It's probably like a hundred thousand maybe a hundred million rpm in actuality, but that's okay this is going to get our ship going a bit faster. And we're also going to like start its turn in that direction just by a few degrees. I wish we could land helicopters on top of this thing. That would be awesome. Okay, moving away. Now what I'm actually going to do, since this ship is so ginormous, let's actually go in the captain's area for a second. Whoa! This is cool. Let's walk around. Dang, it's so big. Okay, wait, I actually need to be paying attention right now. Well, now it looks okay. 
Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so great. Exploring and walking around and going on huge trips on this thing. So as you can see right now, we're pointed exactly for the side of the river, but it's not really possible to not be. Even if we're going completely straight, still pointed to a bank, so we gotta be super careful. I don't even know how this ship and its hugeness can even be in this river. That's crazy talk. Okay. All right, going back out here, pulling up my controls. I'm gonna try and get it to turn a little more. Again, the camera view thing. It's pretty cool, but I don't know how it works and how I accidentally get into it. Okay, yeah, now we gotta be super careful. It all seems to be well, but this ship it turn it's turning is like super delayed and um it's turning is really delayed and ah oh gosh and um so that means if i oversteer then it'll keep going in one direction even when i've stuck it all the way in the other direction and crash So my previous tactics of just sort of maxing out the throttle and trying to see what I could do just or just don't work. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to normal. Okay? And then I'm going to go to this view and I'm going to go here. I'm going to set a, just a ton of like waypoints right next to each other. And I'm going to try to turn on autopilot and see if the ship will go. I don't know how this is going to work. If it's going to go well or if it's just going to turn. It's going to go well or it's going to turn. But, um, okay, it looks like we're going to push towards it. Yes, it is. All right, sweet. Now we're going way faster than we would otherwise. But everything looks well. Okay. Um, let me see. I think I might see it. That's probably the ship out there. He's going to pick up the sick captain. We can do a lot of zooming. Let's see what it is. Is that it? No, that's just another ship. Trawler of some sort. But we are turning. Okay, looks like... Are we heading straight for it? Now, we still need the turning. Where are the controls on this? On In the bridge. Let's see. No. No. No, oh, here they are. Okay. Everything seems pretty good. Nope. This is bad. Alright. Turning this way. Darn it. I knew this would happen. Yeah, we're screwed. Come on, ship, turn! Oh, gosh. I think we'll be able to get it to turn, actually. Yeah, it's already doing the turn. Now, the question is when to stop the turn. I don't know. Autopilot would be way better at this than me. But unfortunately, autopilot's not working for us right now. Because we're too close to a shallow area. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're just going to put it back to normal now. And hopefully the, we'll, the turn will stop. Hopefully. We, all we can do is hope, right? The ship is so cool looking. Okay, no. So it needed a little more turning. Okay. We can still pull that off. Oh, but when is it going to be like you're too close to the objective? Please let me turn with 14. Yes, turn. Heading right the right way. Fit, there we go. Sweet. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of these waypoints then. 15 and 15. I'm just going to get rid of all of these actually. Zoom out a lot. Do, 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 do. There's the waypoint right here. Apparently, another ship is gonna meet us there. Is there a lifeboat on this thing? Where are the lifeboats? Ooh, we've got one, two, three, four. I mean, actually, we've got a lot of lifeboats. Man, we could put them all in the water. That would be interesting. And then we'd have like a whole stack of ships to control here. We'll have to test that theory out. 
How many ships, how many uh, lifeboats can you put into the ground? It's such a cool ship. It's like a mother ship and all of these are its little babies. I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, it is. It, that's kind of a weird thought. Alright, we are now going zero degrees in any direction. Um, we should not be turning. We're going 12.6 and we're still gaining speed like I think we lose speed when we go when we turn but when we're going straight we gain the speed It's pretty good. I'll tell you right now This is not the most interesting part of the game, but we have cleared the objectives All right, wait for the pilot ship to pick up the pilot keep the ship in place so that the pilot who sailed the ship safe the pot so that the pilot whose ship sailed the ship safely out of the harbor can transfer to the pilot ship. Okay, sweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down to 0 RPM then. 0 RPM. Hopefully that slows down the ship. Or we could just like full reverse it and that would slow it down. Let's try that. Full reverse. Um... Oh, there's the pilot ship. Dang, that thing's coming fast. Okay, well, I don't have time to stop the ship. Please wait here for 10, 9, 8. Okay, sweet. There it is. Look at that thing. Okay, wait, see. It's coming to pick up the guy. I'm not sure how well it's doing or whether it's actually happening or not. The pilot has switched over to the Apollo pilot ship. Sail to the Southampton Harbor. Continue your journey and sail the Orient Star to the Southampton Harbor. Alright, so he picked it up. Please don't get run over, little guy. Uh, the full reverse is not what we want to do anymore. We want to go back up to 100 RPM. That was around here, wasn't it? Where does it want us to take the ship? 89 RPM. That's fine. Um, let's go into our big map here. Oh boy, okay. Well, that's okay because we've got our autopilot and we're still in a location where it'll let us use it. So let's zoom in in here. We better get it going fast though. All right, let's actually get it going. So the autopilot turns the ship instead of us because that always works better. What's that little thing? Is that the other ship? What's it doing down there? Go ship, go! Two, three, four, make sure no waypoints are accidentally like somewhere random on the map because then the ship would turn around and try and get there, but it wouldn't have enough space to turn around. And so it would basically turn towards um, the bank of the river and then it would be like, ah, you're too close to the shower. And then basically the autopilot would be like, whoops, I got you guys. I got you in a mistake. I got like a serious problem here for you. Uh, I'm out and good luck. <laughs> no, we are underway. Where's the underway lights? Underway. Yep. And um, hopefully we won't end up, you know, <laughs> running aground and needing those lights. Because that would not be very good. All right. Come on, ship. Turn. The turning seems to be pretty responsive, though, which is really nice. I do appreciate that. Alrighty, so it appears that we are getting rather close to our destination. I don't know. It might literally just be like at derp and then like put another one all the way up here. If it does, I will be extremely ticked off because this is boring as crap. As in like I got bored of looking at this ship about 10 minutes ago. It's a cool ship. It's cool to walk around, but I have to be like constantly or sort of concentrating on doing literally everything to make sure this ship does not run aground um hopefully 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 this will be it we'll get to this location and it'll teleport us somewhere awesome but as of right now i ain't feeling the awesomeness do, do, do. there's so much to walk around though a lot of it's a bit bland but the rest i mean it's it's pretty insane like, this ship is pretty awesome. Here, look. Look at these pools. Yes. Unfortunately, we can't go swimming in the pools. Won't let us do that. We are going to explore this ship, I can assure you, in the near future. Um, maybe the next episode, 
uh, when we've got a stale somewhere like in the ocean and it's actually like rather, you know, it doesn't require as much concentration. I'm also going to let you know that I have no idea where that black bar came from. And ship simulator extremes crashed. <sighs> so we've run into a bit of a roadblock. Who knows how many of the tourist tales we can do without teleporting to different environments. Like, honestly, it's going to take us to an environment and the game's going to crash. There's only some that don't. And if it requires 45 minutes of a playthrough to realize that it's going to crash, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out. But for right now, since that was such an anticlimactic ending, we are going to free roam. We are going to the Orient Star. We are going, we are going to crash this sucker so hard. Oh, we're going to crash into the Opera House. Yes. Let's do it. I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're probably just going to tip and sink. But... We won't crash into the Opera House if there's another ship around to crash into, because I want to see a ship collision at some point in this game. Oh yeah, listen to that. Do you guys hear that horn? Is it coming from all the way back here? I don't even know where the source of that sound is, but um... What I do know is that we are heading... Ooh, look. There's a disco party going on in our ship. What? Look look back there. Ah! Disco party. Okay. Yep. This is going to be interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. Now, in real life, I don't even th think the ship would make it to the Opera House. I think it would just run aground, like, right here. But it's time to find out, honestly. We're going 15 knots. What's going to happen? Oh, we're starting to glitch through. <laughs> oh, we're going into the Opera House. What? We're going through the Opera House. Oh, no way. No way we are literally going through sydney's opera house how much of this stuff can we go through is this when and when is this ship gonna start sinking i better put the lifeboats out drop 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 okay so we've we can only do those we can't do them all okay now I can take control of one of these, and we can basically just watch this happen. Oh gosh, well I want to see it from this point of view actually. Here we go. This is like going to be the legit one though. How a cruise ship got into that situation, I don't know. Oh gosh, there it goes. What in the world? It's just going straight through it. Whoa! What in the world? Do 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 do. Just walking down the street, and then you see this, and you just be like, "What the actual heck is going on?" What? <laughs> Look at this ship go. Let's see what this looks like from the captain's perspective. Do 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 do. Nothing to worry about, folks. Just, uh, heading straight through downtown in a cruise ship. Oh, guys, I'm gonna make a video just for this. I know it. Because this is insane. Who knew that you could do this? Oh, my gosh. Question is, oh, like, what in the world? Excuse me, cars coming through. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? 
we literally just cut through the land right there. We're not sinking or anything. Now, of course, the autopilot wouldn't let us keep going. Okay, now that we're through that, maybe, just maybe, we'll hit, like, a barrier here. Or maybe it'll let us just go straight through it again. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Going through it again. Man, these guys are just partying and they have no idea that they're, like, going through buildings and stuff. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the crash. Nope. Whoa. What the heck just happened? Oh, just become like, came like legit night. Like the sun went all the way down. Still derping around. Still going. Straight into the sunset beautiful just beautiful ladies and gentlemen i suppose this is where we'll end the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope you don't find this too weird um but uh <laughs> we are going to see you again i'll see you again for the next video i will have to figure out like which videos work which ones don't um which scenarios are going to work for us and which ones are just going to be a problem. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Here comes the ship. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.